HBO Max bringing the stars of Friends together again. Plus, new movies every month including same-day premieres of Warner Brothers films for the rest of 2021. And a cheaper way to stream HBO Max, but there is a catch. Hey what's up, it's Michael. Welcome to my channel and in today's video, the 7 things that you need to know before you sign up for HBO Max. Let's get started. Number 1. What is HBO Max? HBO Max launched in May 2020, so by now you may be familiar with how it works. At first people were confused with the difference between HBO Max and HBO, so let me quickly go over the basics. With HBO Max, you can stream everything from HBO. But on top of that, there are HBO Max Originals. These are movies and shows that you will only find on the app. And then a library of content from Warner Media, and it's a pretty good one too, plus some licensed series and movies. Now HBO Max says that it is a streaming service for everyone from families with young children to adults. I'm going to take a deeper dive into the content a little later on so you'll get a sense of its strengths and its weaknesses. Number 2. How much does HBO Max cost? Maybe this is the biggest hurdle for you because HBO Max is not cheap. Its ad-free plan is $14.99 a month, which is more expensive than Netflix Standard and Hulu with no ads. And to be honest, the price is the only reason why I don't subscribe to HBO Max for 12 months out of the year. Instead, it's one that I stop and start. But there's this, after a long wait, HBO Max debuts a cheaper option with ads at $9.99 a month. A company executive said, this plan will have the lightest ad load in the streaming industry. Now aside from the price and the ads, the only difference between those two plans is that the cheaper one will not include the same day premieres of Warner Brothers films for the rest of 2021. Number 3. Does HBO Max offer a free trial? So there are three points I want to make in this section. First, when you sign up for HBO Max directly on its website or through the app, there is no longer a free trial. At launch, there was a seven-day free trial. But there is still a way to try before you buy. This is the watch free section where you can stream free episodes without a subscription. Now typically it is just the first episode, but it's enough to tell if something catches your eye. And second, although there is no free trial directly with HBO Max, you can still get one when you sign up with a third party. I signed up for HBO Max through YouTube TV and got 7 days free. And you can get the same deal when you sign up for HBO Max through Hulu. One week free, then the regular price. And third, you may get HBO Max as a free perk with AT&T. AT&T's most expensive wireless plan, Unlimited Elite, comes with complimentary access to HBO Max. And there's this, some AT&T TV streaming plans include HBO Max too. So if you are on the fence and cost is a concern, consider pausing or canceling one of your other subscriptions like your Netflix or your Hulu and then trying HBO Max. If you don't like it, you can always cancel it. There are no contracts. Number 4. What do you get with HBO Max? So let's talk about content. HBO Max describes itself as all of HBO and so much more. And that so much more part is what I want to focus on in this section because by now you probably already know what you think about regular HBO. Let's start with the movies and the big gamble HBO Max made. Here's the headline in case you missed it. Because of the pandemic, HBO Max decided to premiere all new Warner Brothers films the same day they hit theaters. Now this will not continue long term, but it does last through 2021. And for many, these Warner Brothers premieres alone justify the cost of a subscription. Now put the same day premieres aside and the library of movies on HBO Max, it is still one of its best features, particularly action, dramas, and comedies. But if you're not into movies, the library of shows includes some big hits too. HBO Max is the place to stream Friends, The Big Bang Theory, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and many more too. But then there are HBO Max Originals. There's a mix of content here, but quite a few reality and non-fiction series. Also, the Friends Reunion streaming in late May 2021, highly anticipated and delayed a year because of COVID. Now I think HBO Max is primarily a service for adults, but it does have a respectable collection of kids content from the Cartoon Network, Sesame Workshop, and Looney Tunes. 
I just don't think you'll want to cancel your Disney Plus subscription for this. Number five. How is the user experience with HBO Max? HBO Max has a great layout, maybe the best in streaming, and it has made a lot of improvements since it first launched. So I'm gonna swing around the camera and show you on my TV. When you first open the app, you select a profile. You can add up to five profiles per account, including kid profiles with parental controls. I'm gonna use the adult profile, and this is the home screen. You see the featured content, you can click play and go directly to it or more info for a longer summary and other episodes if it is part of a series. Continue watching is right below the featured series or movie. And if you're just getting started, you will not see this here. But as soon as you start streaming, this area will populate. Below that is my list. And when I first signed up, I spent about 15 minutes browsing the recommendations and adding things to my list. To add something to your list, just choose a title, navigate to the plus symbol, and select it. At the very bottom of the home screen, you will see HBO Max hubs, but there's also a shortcut to this area from the navigation on the far left. And that left navigation also includes shortcuts to search, home, movies, series, and browse. A few other things I like, when you select a movie or series, you will see the option to skip intro in the lower right corner. And fast forwarding on my Roku is great. I can see the point that I'm skipping to, and when you finish an episode in a series, the next one will automatically play. Now there is no way to turn this off, so that can be either a good thing or a bad thing, depending on the person. If you don't wanna keep watching, you will have to press pause or stop. Number six, how do I stream HBO Max? You can stream HBO Max on your phone, tablet, computer, or to a TV set, as long as you've got a supported device like the Roku I'm using today. And here is a list of the supported devices for streaming to a TV set. In addition to Roku, you see Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and even some newer Samsung smart TVs. Now you will need a high-speed internet connection to stream. HBO Max says on its website that you'll need a minimum download speed of five megabits per second to stream HD video, but 50 megabits per second for streaming 4K content is recommended. And when you are connected to Wi-Fi, you can download shows and movies for offline viewing right from the HBO Max app on a phone or tablet. Just tap the download icon, which is the arrow that points down. Number seven, can my family share HBO Max? HBO Max can be streamed on up to three devices at the same time, but go over that limit and you may get an error message about too many streams. As I mentioned earlier, there are up to five user profiles per account. And you can see here on HBO Max's website, those multiple profiles are intended for your immediate family or household, the keyword there, immediate. And those separate profiles let everyone in the house have their own continue watching and my list. And the kid profiles are very useful since so much of the content on HBO Max is geared toward adults. You can easily filter what kids watch using the parental controls. And now pros and cons. As far as I'm concerned, the major downside of HBO Max is that monthly price, $14.99 a month without ads, but I do give HBO Max credit for launching the ad-supported plan. And as far as the pros, let's recap. The same day premieres of Warner Brothers Films for the rest of 2021, that tops my list, and it's followed by the library of movies and TV shows, including high-quality HBO content. The service has a premium feel, with a solid user experience, you can discover new content and get back to what you've already been following with ease. So if HBO Max is not in your streaming rotation, I recommend that you try it out for a month or two. A lot of people consider it to be the best streaming service out there today. And while you're testing it out, you can pause or cancel your existing services like Netflix or Hulu. To help you stick to your streaming budget, I have developed the Michael Saves Streaming TV Spending Tracker. It's free and you will find a link below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.